What's up, YouTube viewers? This is SpartanX23, and look what has arrived. Gears of War Judgment. So let's give a quick rundown of the game. Alright, so it's pretty basically simple. The same thing like Judgment and everything. But, with a few new things with it. As you can see from the beginning, in Gears of War 3, the character did not move. As you can see, my character moves a little bit, moves her head left and right, so on and so on. All the stats are still here. Achievements. And the tags. Just like from Gears of War 1, you gotta collect tags. The ribbons are back. With a few new ribbons to it. Such as Treehouse Predator. Kill a scout on the, on the, per on the perch. Medals are back, of course, for any and all those guys who pre-order their get the VIP pass, as they, as we should say. They get the VIP, of course. All these new things. Look at all these. Look at all these little things. So, the seriously, seriously achievement is just getting the seriously achievement. We were about to see what it is, what it's for. So let's go look, find it right now. Look at all these little achievements. Hmm. Seriously, seriously, seriously. All these achievements are pretty basic. None of them are hard. They look pretty pretty easy to do. So, for the seriously judgmental, complete all declassified missions on insane difficulty. So, it's not a hard of an Onyx medal to get. Character setup. As you can see, we got different skins. This time, they really stepped that up on the skins. Unlike in Gears of War 3, the skins were most of the skins were utter garbage. Uh, as you can see, the ones with the Microsoft symbol means are the ones that you must buy. But the ones with the locks means you can eventually lock these skins. So, there's one for the Mazooka, the Barushka, the mini mini grenade launcher for this weapon, the Lancer, retro Lancer. Hammer Burst, Classic Hammer Burst, The Nasher, Sawed Off, and so on. And here are the characters. Not that many characters. I thought there'd be more. But I'm guessing when it comes to the VIP pass, they will eventually, the season pass, we will get more characters. So apparently there was there's a female Onyx guard. I wonder what happens to the on female Onyx guards later on. Why they didn't show up in 3 or were introduced in in 3 at all, just the Nonix guard. Um, to me, the characters right here, they look pretty, pretty cheap. They don't look that great at all, you know? The, the graphics on them kind of suck, in, in my opinion. I'm hoping they do give out more characters when the se um, from the season pass, because these little few characters, it's not that great of impressive, impressive at all. And as for skin colors, see all those little great skins. As I said, the ones with Microsoft points means you can you can either buy them. Uh, the ones with locks means you eventually can lock them in time. They can. It says how you get them. So you know most of them look like you can level up. Uh, there's killing enemies. Um. So see skeleton, all those great skins right there. It's not like Halo, like most people say, where you can change the armor and do all this and this. From what I've seen, apparently not. It's just basically the skin color changes, that's it. There's no changing pads or changing anything like in Halo, so that's end right there. And here are the prize boxes. I have currently no prize boxes, but there are different prize boxes. There's the normal prize prize box, rare prize box, pri rare prize box, and the epic prize box. So, see, private special event. Special event right now is domination with bridge shots and spot and uh, oops, spot grenades. Speaking of which, let's go find my uh, the grenades. Now we've already known about the spot grenade, which when you throw, you'll be able to see who's around there in the vicinity. Stim grass grenades, medic. Medic grenade, you know, just throw it. Whoever's down or dead, you can revive them without going up there to get them. It's a great thing. 
Frag grenades. Frag grenades, I've heard they were tweaked down a little bit because most people use them in 3. So they're like unable... They're not as powerful as they were back then in Gears of War 3. Um, you can't stick them to the walls. Um, it does a little halo kind of thing where you... If you throw it at somebody, it will stick onto somebody like a sticky grenade. So, yeah. Ink grenades are back. I haven't seen the ink grenade damage yet. So... Later on, I'm going to test them out, see how they are, see if they still do the Gears of War 3 bullshit where somebody throws the ink grenade, you get stunned like half a mile away, and the other person just runs up, kills you. So, smoke grenades are back. I haven't seen many people use a smoke grenade in here yet, so I think it's just because of the spot grenade, which I am currently using. I like the spot grenade. It's very, very handy, especially since the fact that once someone is spotted and someone's shooting at them, they will get more damage. So that's, that's not bad. Alright guys, I think that is it for the for the day of this video. Um, it's pretty much basically simple stuff already. Everyone already knows and sees. So, this is the introduction to Gears of War Judgment. So I hope you guys enjoy Gears of War Judgment. And I will see you on the battlefield.